Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me for Mindful Monday. We have some really cool autumn projects to work on tonight, three different projects. And the first one is this absolutely adorable turkey. So the only thing that we need extra for this project is going to be a glue stick. Okay, so this is what our project will look like when we're all done. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in our kits. We have all different kinds of feathers, different colors with polka dots. I love polka dots. We have a collar with a tie. We have a couple turkey legs. and a hat and looks like some wings and a turkey face gobble gobble and a body and his belly right there okay so where do you think we should start I think we should start with the belly. So let's go ahead and take our glue stick. And we'll just put some glue on that belly. A little bit of glue. And you can put the stripes either way. I'm gonna put mine this way vertically because I heard they're swimming. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and then next, I'm gonna go ahead and attach his head. Okay. And I'm gonna add it just, just about the center of his belly right there. See? Okay, and then I'm going to add the collar. Getting all dressed up for Thanksgiving, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Now, what, what what should we do next? I think he needs his hat. Let's go ahead and put his hat on. And I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here, actually. Right there. So it goes just on his head. Put it on his head anywhere you want. So there we go. Let's go ahead and add his wings. Bit of glue. Those are some pretty wings, huh? They're green with some brown on them. Some brown squares. Some little lines and some bigger lines, huh? making boxes. Ooh, he is all decked out and ready to go places. Now, going to add his legs. We'll put just a little bit right here. A little bit to the other side. Mm, looks like he's ready for a turkey trot. Uh-oh, I got some glue on my table. You always want to make sure you have a paper towel. 
so we can get things cleaned up, okay? Here we go. All right, so he's got his wings. He's got his legs. What do we need to add now, huh? What do you think? <gasps> yes, all his feathers. That's right. Oh, these are going to be fun to add. Look at all the different colors. And you can add these any way you want to. We have green with orange polka dots. We have red with orange polka dots and brown with orange polka dots. He is gonna look so cool. All right, let's go for it. I'm gonna start with the brown. I'm gonna add just a little bit here. And I'm gonna put it right behind the yellow part of his body, just like that. And then I think I'm gonna use a red one, add a little bit of glue right there. Just go All right next to the other one. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do mine and just use all the three different colors in a row. Like that, the brown, the red, and the green. So then I'm going to use the brown again. He sure looks fancy. Yes, he does. How's everyone else doing? Is this fun? Yes. I think it's always fun when you get to use glue for a project. Sometimes it can be a sticky mess though too, right? <laughs> That's why I started with this one first because this is the one that we use the glue with so that we can let it dry. Mm -hmm. All right. There. We'll leave a little space behind his head. And you. What sound does a turkey make? Who knows? No, just shut it out. Gobble, go, gobble. Yes, that's right. I love it. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very good. You guys are so smart. I always have so much fun with you. I hope when you get done with your projects that you send me pictures so we can post them. Who's having fun? Everyone? Someone? Everyone? <laughs> okay, good. I'm having fun too. We're almost done. All right. Go. Looks like I have a couple feathers left. So Just gonna add them to the bottom here. One on either side. Just like that. What do you think? Yep, I think it looks good. I can't wait to see yours. And you might have a couple extra feathers like I did. And then we're going to go ahead and glue this on. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on both ends. And I'm going to tuck it between the body and the feathers. 
on either side, just like that. Okay. All right. So there is our turkey. Now we just need to let him dry. Let him dry overnight. And we'll be ready to hang up, just like this one. Okay. I'm just going to move him over here so he can dry. Just move him very carefully. Up my mess a little bit. Oh, girls. South Lexi and Tara want to say hi to you guys. All right, girls. Don't steal the show. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then we'll come back and work on our next project, which will be Hello Fall with this absolutely incredibly adorable squirrel hello everyone hello we are back and we're getting ready to do our next project our next fall squirrel project so let's go ahead and Look and see what's in our kit. This is what the project's going to look like when we're all done. It's this really nice, soft, squishy foam. And we're going to be using these little round foam pieces for the back so that we can attach this string so we can hang it up. Okay. So this is going to be the main portion that we're going to use. And let's go ahead and attach that string first. So let's turn it over. I love how this feels. How cushy. All right. Let's take our string. Attach it to the back area. Let's grab. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to take a quick pause. Okay. Let's go ahead and take these two round squishy pieces of styrofoam. We're going to peel the paper off the back and we're going to attach it to one side, the sticky part. And we're going to take that paper off the other side, put it there on the other one. Go ahead and push that down. So now we can hang it up. Okay. So here's our sample. And we already have the words hello. So let's go ahead and look for our word fall. Which is what? What does the word fall mean? Oh, when you fall, yeah, that that can mean, yes, that's right. It can mean if you fall. It can mean if the leaves fall from the trees. And it is also a season, which is what we are in right now, fall. Also referred to as autumn. So let's go ahead and put fall on our sign. And how's that spelled? F A L So, yeah, just like that. Push them down just a little bit. 
Make sure they're going to stay nice and secure. And there's two L's. You can put the green one first or the brown one first. It's up to you. Okay. And then let's go ahead and get the squirrel. Let's remove the backing paper off the back of the squirrel so we can attach it to the sign. What do squirrels do in the fall? Do you know? They collect nuts, yes. To save for the winter time. That's right, yes. When it gets cold outside, so they have food. You can just put that squirrel anywhere up there, right there. And Let's find the little sticker that's a nut. Let's make sure that that squirrel starts with a nut for the fall. Right there. There you go, squirrel. You have a nut. And then the rest of the stickers are what? They're leaves. Oh, and they're such pretty colors. There's a yellow leaf and a green leaf and a brown leaf. Well, it's kind of a burgundy color, isn't it? And an orange color and a brown color. So we're just gonna put these all around the squirrel, like they're falling from a tree. While the squirrel is out there, collecting nuts so it will have food for the winter time. Look at that big bushy tail that squirrel has. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Let's see. There we go. Our sign is all put together. Hello fall. I hope you get lots of nuts, squirrel. All right. Looking forward to seeing your signs. Make sure you guys send me pictures. All right. Let's check out our next project. Gather simple blessings with, oh, look at that, with a bunch more leaves, all different colors. How very cool is that? All right. So let's see what's in our kit. This is going to be our main part of our sign and then we have all these different leaves we have orange and green and a bright yellow kind of an orangey yellow there and then we have all these strings that we're going to attach the leaves to but first we have to make sure that we do attach a tie to the top. Let's make sure that we have the longest one from the top. I think they're all the same, but let's go ahead and check. Yep, they're all the same size. Okay, so for the top, there's some little tiny holes that you'll punch out and then you'll just push that string through pull it through tie a little tiny knot
There you go. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Tie the knot on the back side. Okay. So now we can hang it up. And we're all done. Okay. And these are going to be laced through the same way. So you're going to pull out that little bit of styrofoam, tie a little knot, You're going to do that all the way across for each one, just like I did here. Okay, and then you tie a knot on the back side. And for each strand, you're going to add one leaf, any color you want. So for the first one, I'm going to pick orange but you'll need two. You'll need one for the front. And you'll need one for the back side. And you'll put it right on the back, just like that, see? So I'm going to let you go ahead and finish that up. And if you look at mine, what I did is I just staggered them. I put some up a little bit higher, some a little bit lower. And that's all you need to do for your project. But if you want to go ahead and do a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll show you what more you can do. Hello, everyone. I'm back. So this is the last little bit that I wanted to show you that you could do with this project. You can write all the things that you feel are blessings in your life. So I'm going to write on my leaf, family. Yes, girls. It's Lexi and Tara. They're reminding me that they are family too. Here's what I so I'm going to write... Lexi and Tara. All right, there we go. There's all of our projects. Yes, Lexi, I have Lexi and Tara. I hope everyone had a great evening and stay tuned because I will also be reading the monster at the end of this book starring lovable furry old Grover right there. Okay, see y'all in just a little bit. Bye.